What's up everyone, my name is Setsplits, and today I bring you one more episode on my Black Ops 2 Best Classes series. So today I bring you a class with the Peacekeeper as you all requested in my previous vids. And as a background I actually have a 64 to 9 gameplay on uh, Meltdown. I was playing Domination Ground War and so it's a still a cool gameplay with a swarm and so uh, a still a cool gameplay for me to show you guys how this weapon works. So um, moving on and to the class just for you guys to get a glimpse of the things that I'm using with it so of course I have the peacekeeper there and uh, in terms of attachments I am using laser sight and long barrel so that's kind of cool to use just two attachments in this weapon you can use three but I'm going to talk about that further on uh, then in terms of perk one I use flag jackets and hardline then uh, in terms of toughness and scavenger in perk two of course and then dexterity in perk three of course I'm using the wild cards that allow you to have uh, two perks in perk 1 and in perk 2, uh, of course, that would be possible uh, to have <laughs> two perks in those categories. So, moving on and to the gameplay, so I'm going to talk about the attachments and the perks that I'm using. So, first of all, the attachments. Um, of course, laser sight. Laser sight is one of the most important attachments in this weapon. So, as you know, the Peacekeeper is kind of a hybrid between the assault rifles and the SMGs, and so it's kind of fast-paced while you're running and while you're shooting but it's kind of slow while aiming down the sights and so the thing you need is of course quick draw or laser sight I normally use laser sight because you really don't need to aim and as this weapon is kind of accurate you don't need to aim at all it's really good hip firing and so I use it a lot while hip firing you are going to see some situations where I hip fired a lot uh, because you just don't have the time and it's kind of fast because of that while you hip fire so um, of course laser sight is a good attachment in all weapons especially in shotguns but in this weapon is good as well so um, now moving on to the second attachment long barrel so a long barrel is an attachment again that I use a lot in my shot shotgun classes and actually it increases uh, the range and the accuracy, uh, just increases the range, but I think it increases the accuracy as well. Um, so um, it increases the damage as well. And so this weapon doesn't have a good damage. I think it's kind of low uh, compared to the other SMGs, but still you need kind of a lot of bullets to kill someone. And so uh, if you have a good range and a good damage, you can hit people a lot more easily and just basically kill people faster and um, as you have laser sights so I'm talking about long barrel and laser sight combined it's really really cool because you can hip fire a lot with loads of accuracy a, a huge huge impressive damage and of course um, a good range so that's just perfect in this weapon in my opinion they are the best uh, attachment for you to use with this weapon and so um Basically, moving on to the perks, uh, I actually use flag jacket with it. Again, it's not suppressed, and so um, you don't really need um, you don't really need a ghost because people are going to see you. You are shooting. I only use ghost in non-suppressed classes when I'm using shotguns because you know what? You just shoot once and once at a time and so that's just because it's different but in the peacekeeper I don't think that you use uh, you should use uh, ghost with this particular set of attachments um, then I use of course hardline uh, to help you get those kill streaks in this case for example it helped me a lot to get the swarm and so that's one of the things that helps you to get uh, good good kill streaks and actually helped me a lot so um, hardline is a really good thing and you should use hardline a lot in terms of perk 2, I have toughness and scavenger, I use those attachments a lot, I think are the attachments that I use the most, uh, for example toughness I use it a lot, especially in um, automatic weapons, uh, because you need to shoot and be accurate with them, uh, but still I use it a toughness a lot and with a lot of weapons so uh, definitely a cool perk to look for and then of course scavenger I tend to run out of ammo really fast with this weapon and it's one of the things that I dislike about the peacekeeper uh, I think I think I always run out of ammo with this weapon and it's kind of frustrating because of that and uh, that's why I need scavenger and I'm always running uh, on top of enemies that sounds weird but whatever um, because I really need to grab that bag of ammo because I always feel uh, the need for more bullets because I always run out of ammo with this weapon and then of course dexterity uh, of course I have the laser sight that 
I don't need to aim down the sights that much, but still, uh, dexterity helps you to aim down the sights after running and actually jumping a lot, and I still think that dexterity is one of the best perks in the game, uh, because it just helps you to move a lot faster throughout the whole map, and so uh, that's basically it. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this Best Glasses episode, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button, and actually, I have to thank you guys for all the support on my latest video, my daylight montage, it was kind of a different video, and it got a huge, huge amount of support from you guys, and that's what I want to see, and so, uh, basically, just check out my other Black Ops 2 Best Glasses series, and actually, Uprising is out, and so I'm going to try and cover all the things that are about the new Uprising DLC on the PS3. So, um, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Hitsplit, and I'm out.